everybody, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to solve lead code 11, container with most water. This question has also been asked in previous Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Apple interviews. If you would like to practice more questions, here are some more videos you should watch. So you are given an integer of array, and each number represents the height here on the chart. And you, you have to find the two lines that can hold the maximum amount of water. And you have to return the maximum amount of water that can be stored. Now these type of questions may seem really difficult in the beginning, but once you know how to approach that, it's really easy. Okay, now let's look at this diagram that I have modified. This is the exact same diagram from the question. I've just highlighted a portion in yellow. Now, if you look at that highlighted yellow portion, it's basically an area of a rectangle. Okay, if you look at this bar, it has value 8. And if you look at this bar, it has value 7. So the smaller value is going to be our width. And then the distance between the two bars is going to be our length. So the area of the rectangle can be calculated by multiplying the length by width. So the easiest thing to do is to take two for loops and calculate the area between all of these bars and uh, find out what's the maximum area and return that. But that's not very efficient. So here's what we're going to do. So we are going to start by calculating the area between the begin and end, this portion. Basically, this area represents the amount of water that it can hold. So we're going to create a variable int max water and we're going to set it to zero. And of course, we need the begin and end variables. Int begin equal to zero. And then int end equal to height dot length minus one. Okay, so to calculate the area, we first need to know whether the value of this bar is lower or this one is lower. Whichever is the lower, that's what we're going to use as a width of the rectangle. Let's write while begin is less than end. In that case, we're going to do math dot min height of begin or height of end. Whichever is the smaller value, we want that. And then we want to calculate the length between begin and end. That can be simply calculated as end minus begin. So end minus begin. Now that's our length. Basically, you can store this value in a new variable called int width equal to this. And then you can create another variable called int length equal to this. And then multiply width by length, or you can directly multiply these values. So we're going to do direct multiplication. So this is our width multiply by our length. So this is the area of the rectangle. Now that area represents the amount of water that can be held. So we're going to store that in the max water variable. But, but we're also going to do math.max max water comma the newly calculated area. I'm just going to make this big. So now what we're going to do is check whether this is a smaller value or this. Right? Whichever is the smaller value, we want to change that pointer to point to the next one. We want to keep the larger value in the calculation. Okay, so now we're going to write the code for that. If height of begin is less than height of end, in that case, we're going to do begin plus plus. But if the end was smaller, in that case, we would have moved the end pointer to the next one. So we want to write the condition else end minus minus. And at the end, we simply want to return the max water. So let's say return max water. OK, now let's go ahead and run the code. If this makes sense, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and see you next time.